Good evening everyone. It's nice to see you again. I am Sir Kevin D. C. Lau, Teacher 1 of Imelda Integrated School. I will be your Teleturuan teacher for tonight's episode in Mathematics Module 2 Season 10. At the end of this episode, you are expected to first derive the formula in solving for the volume of spheres. Second, calculate the volume of spheres. Let us start it with a short review about our lesson last week. Are you ready? Give your answers on the following questions. What is volume? Correct! Volume is the amount of space inside a solid figure. How about cones? Great! Cone is a solid figure with a circular base. It has a curved surface which tapers to a vertex at the top. Alright! Tonight, our focus is a sphere. Sphere is a perfectly round geometrical object in three-dimensional space that is the surface of a completely round ball. How to find the volume of sphere? To find the volume of sphere, use the formula volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. Let us figure out how we arrive in the given formula. First, the volume of sphere is that of the volume of two cones given that the measurement of the height and the radius are equal. So, the volume of cone is one third times pi r squared times h. And since it is double, it will become two thirds times pi r squared times height. As you observe, the formula for finding the volume of cone has height. And since it is a sphere, we will convert the height, which is also equivalent to 2 radii, making it 2 thirds times pi r squared times 2r. the expression, volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. Let us try to answer this example. A sphere with a radius of 4 and 5 10 centimeters. Use the formula for volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. 4 thirds times pi, which is 3 and 14 hundredths, multiplied by 4 and 5 tenths cubed. Let us simplify 4 and 5 tenths cube, making it 91 and 125 thousandths. 4 thirds times 3 and 14 hundredths times 91 and 125 thousandths. 3 and 14 hundredths multiplied by 91 and 125 thousandths equals 286 and 1325 ten thousandths. 4 thirds times 286 and 1,325 ten thousandths. 286 and 1,325 ten thousandths multiplied by 4 is equal to 1,144 and 53 hundredths. The last step, 1,144 and 53 hundredths divided by 3. This is equal to 381 and 51 hundreds cubic centimeters. And since we are still solving for volume of solid figure, we will use cubic units as unit of measurement. Let us try another one, a sphere with a radius of 9 meters. 4 thirds times pi, which is 3 and 14 hundreds times 9 cubed. Let us simplify 9 cubed, making it 729. 4 thirds times 3 and 14 hundredths times 729. 3 and 14 hundredths multiplied by 729 equals 2,289 and 6 hundredths. 4 thirds times 2,289 and 6 hundredths. 2,289 and 6 hundredths multiplied by 4 is equal to 9,156 and 24 hundredths. And last step, 9,156 and 24 hundredths divided by 3. 
it is equal to 3052 and 800 cubic meters. Before we continue with some of our activities, let us pause for a few reminders from our sponsors.